So today we got together to see what the Faculty of Health Sciences and specifically the Bob Freiter Group doing in terms of simulation. The world in the theatre is a very complex world. Uh, it's a world where you have to work on patients and you can lose patients very quickly. So it's important that we put very well trained uh, uh, a specialist into that environment. And a simulation unit goes far to help to equip those specialists with the specific skills. And what we see in this afternoon is probably the first of the kind in Africa, in some of the units, where we simulate processes under real world and real life conditions uh, to be able to train our specialists to play back and to say, well, where you have made mistakes and you have the opportunity to correct that, you have the opportunity to do better on that. And, and, and that for me is the important part of what training is about. You know, we, we're moving towards a revolution which we call the digital revolution, the fourth industrial revolution, and we need to make use of technology to help us to better equip our graduates and our specialists that we train for the world out there. And this afternoon was an exceptional example of exactly that. Today it's one of the memorable days that I will never forget since it's my first time to attend uh, a simulation uh, lab which is called the High Fidelity Cardiopulmonary Bypass. This uh, simulation is, we, we actually did a almost full procedure here uh, and the first word and the only probably word I would say is just real. I mean I was into it I never thought for a moment it's just that you are stressing as if the patient is really underneath you and you're doing the surgery and uh, I mean and the whole team is there the perfusionist were there the anesthetist and all the all the things can go wrong in theater in the actual theater really can happen here and the, the, the important thing here is because you're safe you won't kill any patient if things go wrong and, and it gives you all the opportunity to be a surgeon standing on the right place, not just assisting and watching people how they operate. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed it and I recommend this thing to happen in every cardiothoracic department worldwide. <music>